Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, which only has one video on it now. I know that's weird, but I just feel like since this happened to me, I can't even identify with my old self anymore. So I just made all my videos private, which does suck because I feel like I'm starting my channel over, but I feel like I need to, and that's just how it's gonna be from now on. So I don't, and I don't even know like what types of videos I'm gonna make in the future. I just, for right now, I feel like this transition in my life is so important and I just feel like I need to share it. I was actually just in church. I finally found a church I really like, thank God. I was just sitting there like, I feel like I need to keep documenting this because the new age spirituality stuff has literally taken over on social media and I feel like it's really pulling vulnerable people into it, especially young people. You know, maybe if I continue to make these videos about it and how brainwashed I was and how I'm transitioning my life to a life serving God only and nobody else, God himself, and that's it. Like maybe those videos will re also reach those people and maybe it'll make them rethink what they're doing, like the tarot videos and, um, you know, crystals, meditation, yoga, all of it. Like I was into all of it, the self-help industry and all of it is just so self-absorbed. And that is why I felt like something was off with it and that I needed to leave. And God really showed me, he really like took the blinders off me one day. And it was like, I could never look at it again the same. And that video that I did was like two weeks ago. So, so much has happened since. And I feel like I need to get my phone because I think I have some notes in there that I've been taking down because I want to share the rest of the story with you guys and like what happened after because it's not all good. Like it doesn't, like when you choose God, I have this feeling of peace and wholeness now, but it's not like everything's just like perfect all of a sudden. God will save you from your sins and he will remove things that you've been trying to heal yourself forever. For me, he saved me from codependency, feelings of addiction and lust and just so many things. I don't even feel like swearing anymore. I have no urge to drink alcohol, even one drink. I don't have that urge either. He really cleaned me completely. Like my whole spirit is clean. But when I was first transitioning over, when I made that decision to choose God, like it wasn't easy. I had really emotional experiences after where I was like, I feel like I have almost PTSD after being in that, into that spiritual stuff for so long. It literally brainwashed me into thinking that there's no hell or the devil or anything. Like everything's like love and light and the devil himself in the Bible masquerades as love and light. And and that is what that industry is. Outside, is it looks very fancy and alluring and enticing. And that's how I fell into it because it looked like fun. But it wasn't what it cracked up to be. Like, I never felt healed. I've always felt empty. There was always a void in my heart. So if you choose that route, you will think that you're healing things. And it, it like tricks you into thinking you're healing things. Because you will feel better for a little bit of time. Each thing you do, each yoga retreat, each healing session, each, you know, all this shadow work. Like, shadow work is just demonic in my opinion. Why would you want to keep bringing up trauma to heal it? Like if you keep bringing it up and bringing it up and bringing it up, that's just creating more darkness in your life. Like that's not really the way to heal. The only way you can heal anything truly is with the help of God. And that self-help industry makes you think that you do everything. You heal everything yourself. How can you heal a problem with a problem? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. The only way that you can truly heal yourself and your heart and soul is by walking with Christ. That is the only way. And you can keep searching and keep searching and keep searching and be in that industry for years. I know someone in my last video commented to follow Doreen Virtue. And it's funny because I had one of her new age books when she was like into new age, like she would call herself a Christian, but she was also into spirituality. And she even said like, I wanted to be that person that like merged them and you can't dude. Like you literally can't. And I thought that I was like that too. I could work with angels and spirit guides and da 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 da. That stuff is literally demonic. And I didn't know. I had no clue because I wasn't well versed with the Bible, but law of attraction, manifestation, spirit guides, all that stuff. It masquerades as love and light. Like I said before, and really it's just sorcery. It's witchcraft. I had no idea guys. And it's in the Bible. I think it's in Deuteronomy, but anyway, Doreen Virtue, we used to be into both. And she was super famous guys. Like she had the most luxurious lifestyle, had everything, was working with celebrities, all of those people, which that industry also just is just, a, a, it's so questionable to me. Like, and I just can't even look at it the same now. 
Anyway, she was living a life of luxury and just but was so empty and was not truly, truly deeply happy or appreciative of her life and she couldn't figure it out. Finally, she realized what that what she was doing was the devil, really. He had brainwashed her with the new age spirituality stuff. They tell you that evil isn't real and all that stuff's not real, like nothing's real. And it's like, how can you even say that with what's going on in the world? It's almost ridiculous to even talk like that. Clearly evil is happening and all that stuff. Like you could see it, it's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, but now she has a chant, like her YouTube channel. I don't even think she's monetized. She won't monetize it. She just does it for free, but she's all about transitioning from new age to being a Christian. She may have gone to ministry school or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, she really knows her stuff now and it's really cool to see. And she said she was so humbled. Now she just lives in like a normal average home and lives an average life and she's happier than ever. It was really cool to see her stuff. So thank you to whoever commented for me to check her stuff out because it, it definitely is helping me through this transition. So, okay, let's talk about after I made that decision to go from new age to just walking with God alone and after the veil fell off, what caused that veil to fall off and for me to see the truth was actually somebody else's testimony and somebody who is a Christian that lives in the same area as me. She has a YouTube channel that I watch from time to time. I didn't know that she was a Christian, but she had made this video on how the law of attraction works and how she'll never do it again and why you should start doing it and all that stuff. And the first time I watched it, I was like, that's interesting. I never thought that way. I never thought of it like that. I didn't even know that it was witchcraft. That was huge for me. And then after that, of course, the YouTube algorithm started showing me all these New Age to Jesus testimonies. So I start, I think I watched one or two and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I've been into and I had no clue, had no clue. And after that, I just, you know, I couldn't unsee it anymore and I realized what I had been doing. And I was overcome with emotion and embarrassment, honestly. I was embarrassed that I had been into that stuff and that I had been brainwashed and pulled into that stuff and that I, I had been sinning and I didn't even know I was sinning because that's how it tricks you. And so I, I spent two weeks it's been about two weeks. I spent those two couple weeks just really asking for forgiveness and repenting and really saying, I am going to change my life. I'm not gonna do this stuff anymore. I didn't know it was bad and I'm sorry to God and all that. I don't even think I left my house for like a week because I was just so taken back by what my life was. I couldn't believe it. I, I really couldn't believe it. I felt like I had PTSD almost. What on earth was I doing? And after I decided to make this decision, I know exactly where I was standing in my kitchen. I, it was like a moment I'll never forget. And pretty much everybody says that in their testimony when Jesus truly comes to you in your heart. You'll, you will never forget it. And it doesn't mean that it has to be some big, wild revelation or anything like that. It was just, I get it now. I understand now, and I'm sorry. It was a really beautiful moment, but then I knew, okay, now I feel like I've lost a part of my identity because I really identified with being a spiritual person and spirituality. And it was just something that I was grabbing hold of, and it was just another addiction and obsession. And I see that now, and I didn't realized when I was in it, but it was just a cycle. It was just another cycle of addiction almost. And well, it was, but yeah, then coming out of it, I had to say, well, then who the heck am I? Because that was a big part of my life. You know, I was always doing yoga, meditation, you know, different things like learning about, you know, different gods and goddesses and all that stuff. And that stuff is just, if you're not praying to God himself, then what on earth are you praying to? You are allowing these things into your life and you don't even know what they are, these spirits. And they're not good, trust me. I've experienced demonic things. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime, but I don't know if I'm ready to talk about that stuff yet. But I will say that after I chose God, there was like two nights that I had really, really scary demonic dreams, guys. Like, I mean, I could feel the anger and the pain and the hatred that those things had towards me because I had chosen the light. And I was, okay, this stuff is real. I didn't realize spiritual warfare was happening, but now I do because I'm experiencing it myself and I'm seeing it in my dreams. And there were dreams where I was half asleep, half awake. It just felt so real. I also had a dream at that time where, where I was trying to fall asleep and all I could hear was just loud. It sounded like a loud crowd and a loud buzzing and all of, literally like all of the insects and people all talking at once just in my ear, just so loud. And I woke up like, what is going on guys? I know this stuff sounds crazy and weird, but when you find God and Jesus, the enemy isn't gonna be happy about that. I mean, he had me at his fingertips for a couple of years when I was in, into all that stuff. And I had no idea. I had no idea. So those dreams were really scary. And for about a week, I could feel the darkness. Like I was scared to go to bed at night because I could feel a darkness in my room. Just, 
I didn't see anything, thank the Lord, but I, I just felt like a dark presence in my room. Just It was just there and it's gone now, <sighs> but that really was horrible. So that, w that was a week of just, I was just terrified because my whole life was just flipped upside down. I'm having these scary negative dreams and I'm feeling this dark presence and all I could do was pray and pray that God would protect me and Jesus would be there with me and comfort me and he did. And so now I haven't had any like, scary dreams. I've been sleeping normal. You know, God healed me from all of the things that I was trying to fix with new age stuff. So I didn't have, I don't have any more physical things going on. I don't have any more mind chatter that I had when I was into that stuff. It was like, I was constantly in my head. I feel super grounded, super peaceful. The hole in my heart that I was trying to fill with all of these things has been filled by God himself. So I no longer feel the need to fill it with anything outside of me, if that makes sense. Like I'm, I don't have that feeling of needing validation from anybody, from needing to soothe myself or feel better because Jesus is there and I know he's there and I can feel him. And I just feel so comforted by his presence and by his love and by his forgiveness in me. And it feels really, really good. And you know, you, I don't feel him 24 seven, but I have such faith because I have felt him before. And there's times where I do, I just know that he's there with me always and and I have such good faith now in him and, and it's not that I never did because there were definitely times where I would call on God I would pray to God but I didn't have that true true connection with him that I have now the life that I was trying to live for myself wasn't the life that he had for me so now I'm just walking with him instead and reading the Bible every day even just a couple of pages and you know talking and praying to him and listening and going to church now and just trying to find people that you know have similar beliefs that I do and you know I always felt this void I would say for the last few years maybe like four or five years I just didn't feel like I had support or a community and it's because I was so isolated by that stuff guys I didn't even really want to leave the house it was that much of an addiction I just wanted to watch more YouTube videos listen to podcasts read books and all that and I didn't want to be around people and that's another way that it is truly demonic because it isolates you from everybody so I ended up throwing away all of my new age materials. I know in that video I said I was gonna keep my crystals But I felt like after I really chose God I was like I need to get rid of Literally everything I need to purge my house because it just feels unclean with that stuff here So I got rid of every piece of art that I ever made that was spiritual which hurt me because it I love it was fun to make them but they started to scare me. I think I did a Buddha painting and you know, an animal painting and they just started to look scary to me. And I was like, I just want these out too. Threw those away. I threw away every book, every spiritual book, even a lot of the self-help books. I threw away crystals, sage, all of it, all of it. And I feel so much better without it. My house just feels more peaceful and calm. And I feel like me again. I truly, I feel like me again because I'm with God again. Cause when I was in that stuff, I had this new age identity. It was a different identity, it was a different me, and that stuff like makes you think that you're better than people. It starts to make you live in your ego 24-7. I felt like I had all of this grand information that other people didn't know, and I found myself judging people a lot, and it was wrong. It was so wrong. Meanwhile, I was the one who was a mess, you know what I mean? So I hope this video helps somebody that is struggling with new age or doesn't realize what it actually is, and that you can really fall into a trap with it and it can become another addiction and that the only way to get out of any addiction or any real health problem is to walk with God and to ask God for forgiveness, for help, for health. He is the only one that can heal you and he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to call on him and be with him and he loves you. And I guess I'll leave it at that guys and then I'll, I'll check in in maybe another couple weeks and I'll let you know how everything's going. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and leave a comment if this, if this moved you at all or if you felt like it helped you. All right, bye.